Hello everyone, this is Robert here with Mod Science, modscience.net, Facebook Mod Science. Like and subscribe for more, ladies and gentlemen. And today I bring you the unboxing video of Gigabyte's Radeon RX Vega 64, uh, which is pretty exciting here because it's a long awaited release of AMD's Vega series. Um, on my channel, you will also find unboxing footage of the Vega Frontier Edition, uh, but today we have the more gaming focused RX Vega 64 um, ready to be unveiled here. So, uh, this is not the silver version that I would have liked to have obtained um, online. I actually did kind of try and obtain one of the silver, uh, silver versions of the card. But this th these things literally sold out in 10 minutes from what I have read online. That's an impressive, impressive feat. I don't care who you are or what kind of what follower you are, AMD Intel, to have your car all of your most recent or your, your newest products sell out in a matter of minutes is a pretty freaking amazing thing. Miners or gamers or whatever the hell, when demand out um, out out uh, matches supply then it's always a good thing so um, very exciting stuff so today again we are going to be unveiling the gigabyte rx um, vega 64 this is the black edition i bought it on newegg for 599 dollars which some of you are scoffing at the idea of having spent so much money but hey when you got it you may as well use it um, so I actually bought the black version of the uh, of the of the uh, of the system itself. So I actually have um, two uh, two free games that come with it. I think it's Wolfenstein Wolfenstein Two, which I'm actually excited about, and also Prey, if I'm not mistaken. So I guess that's a good enough value, but I don't really care. You're talking to a guy who spent a thousand dollars on the Frontier Edition just to have the damn thing without having used it for its full potential. So. Here we are. So this is the Gigabyte RX Force uh, Vega uh, RX Vega 64. Um, this model comes with eight gigabytes of HBM2 memory, whereas the Vega Frontier Edition comes with 16 gigabytes and a higher clock speed. So actually, the, the Frontier Edition is faster than this guy, uh, based on everything that I've seen. Um, so what I am going to do for you guys, and I know you're going to ask is for some benchmarks of the Frontier Edition versus the actual Vega 64, and you will get it. Also note that this Vega 64 is going to be mono, uh, um, water-cooled by an EK RX Vega monoblock. I don't recall exactly what the model number is, but I can guarantee you there will also be unboxing and installation footage updated to the channel. So what does that tell you? I should probably subscribe for more. Okay, so do that if you haven't done so already. I do appreciate it. So let's get right into it. So right here, I've always liked Gigabyte's um, um, product design with the, uh, the robotic looking eye thing. I really like the Vega eye things. Unfortunately, I won't have that on any of the card, but I'm actually kind of relieved that I got the reference card because I am taking the, the actual cooler off itself and then uh, installing it and replacing it into my Wrath build, which again, you'll find pictures of on the website. Um, and, and custom looping the entire thing. So that's the front here, just kind of uh, explaining what the product is. Uh, the serial code is included here. And then of course, the very back of the card itself. Uh, with okay, the so let's get right to it and get this thing open for you guys. So again, pardon, the, pardon me if I'm blocking you guys there. For YouTube, I never really cared about having and watching people open their, their their stuff, but it's an interesting market that has developed as a result. Um, okay, so we have the Gigabyte logo displayed, of course, black box, very nice, very similar to the Vega Frontier Edition card, um, and then we have the looks like this is oh yeah, this is the eight pin. Um, Actually, it's a splitter. It looks like six pin to an eight pin connector. Okay, so if you have a, a PSU output that doesn't have the extra eight pin connections, that's pretty useful uh, into one eight pin connector. Only one of those are included again. So that's the uh, two six pin female connectors into one eight pin male, which does uh, connect to the car. 
And of course, in a static box or anti-static bag, we have the beautiful RX Vega 64, which we'll be opening up here shortly so you guys can receive. And then I'm gonna set that down briefly just to make sure there's nothing else inside of the box. And that is a pretty bare bones kit. So all you get inside of it is a quick guide, gigabyte quick graphics card, quick guide, um, which probably has some very basic ins information about the kind of connectors there, and then a number of different languages about just um, installation. So very straightforward stuff. Very bare bones kit, nothing too wrong with that, because all we really care about is getting this card installed and uh, all that good stuff. And there we are. And I will say that the reference version of the card is actually quite impressive. Okay, so I've taken the card out of the box and I just wanted to reshoot some of the footage that I've captured and kind of get you a little bit better viewing angles and some better lighting uh, for the sake of, uh, of the video here. Um, so again, so this is the Vega 64. Uh, it is the black edition version of the card that came from Gigabyte. I bought it as part of the black package, which contains a version of Wolfenstein 2 and Prey. Um, and it is the reference cooler that for the Vega 64. From what I understand, there will be additional uh, manufacturers coming out with um, uh, different versions of the cooler here. Uh, I did initially want to snag the silver version of the, uh, of the cooler. Um, but I, I mean, like I said, this thing has sold, this, uh, this card sold out in a matter of 10 minutes. Pretty much everywhere you looked, it was pretty much gone, uh, which was a little bit disappointing, but also very good for AMD. But I'll give you a little bit more footage of the, uh, a close-up of the card itself here. So again, this is a reference cooler, and this is the new fan style design uh, compared to the, G the Polaris card. Apparently, it's actually a little bit better of a design. And I haven't had the opportunity to really plug it in to see how it performs or how it sounds. But if it's anything like the Vega Frontier Edition, it's actually, uh, the Vega Frontier Edition card is actually quite quiet. Again, there's the uh, Vega Edition card, or the Frontier Edition card as a basis of comparison between the two. Um, very similar in size, um, just the, the cooler itself is much, much more impressive. Uh, but even still, this, uh, this Gigabyte cooler that comes with it on the black version is actually rather nice and if you had kind of a dark build, a black and red build, it would, it would definitely fill in um, quite nice too. So uh, two 8-pin connectors on the top there, Radeon logo, three uh, display port adapters in the HDMI, there's the other side of the card itself there and then the side of the card and then the GPU tech in the top left which again you can activate or deactivate it, or you can even switch it between red and blue via some small switches there. And kind of a close-up of the, uh, uh, the GPU backplate, which is included, which actually looks a little bit better on this card than it does in the Vega Frontier Edition. It's actually quite similar to the Frontier Edition um, uh, reference cooler, except that it's not in a brushed aluminum. It's, um, uh, it's actually quite sturdy. I've also read online that this particular reference cooler is not necessarily the greatest. Um, it's actually okay when it's compared to the actual cooler that you have on the Frontier Edition or the uh, Limited Edition um, um, coolers themselves. But even still, I've always I've really liked the new uh, the new design of the fan. Um, Gigabyte's logo is there. The Frontier Edition card also has a similar fan. This is just not as high of a build quality from what it seems. Uh, than the actual Frontier Edition. And uh, we'll do a little bit more of a comparison in size, but you can kind of see the difference in the quality of the build, right? It's got a, a very um, brushed aluminum appearance to it. Hopefully I'm capturing that for you guys. And then we have, of course, just kind of the standard Black Edition card. Um, again, if I wasn't going to be custom looping this thing, I really would have been upset with not getting the actual thing. But if Pretty much every one of these band voices is going to sell out in a matter of minutes, and who gives a damn? Um, back of the card, uh, we've got uh, wherever the, the uh, GPU is located. We have a nice little mounting bracket for the, uh, the back plate there. 
Um, the uh, card itself comes with a, a cover for the PCI Express connector there and the pins, which is nice to have logo covered. is displayed here. And the Radeon logo is also slightly different. I think on the older um, Polaris GPOs, it was kind of more prominent there. Uh, here it's kind of just located in the bottom left. And the, uh, there are indentions in the R, the A, the D, and the O. So pretty nifty. It's going to look very good inside of my Fury build, which does kind of have a black and a red theme. Two 8-pin connectors are right here. Okay, so it's a pretty power-hungry card. I think it's like 295 watts is uh, what uh, people have been reporting. And if you're like me, who gives a damn about power usage? We have powerful PSUs to begin with, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Um, now, on the back of the card, serial number information. Uh, this is the GPU TAC, which kind of shows you the activity of the, of the GPU, uh, how much of it is being utilized. Um, it's actually very similar to what is on the Frontier Edition card, which I'll show you here in just a second. Also, one, th one thing you'll notice is that there's an on-off switch for the GPU TAC, which is pretty neat, and there's also a red and blue switch for the GPU TAC as well. By default on the Frontier Edition, it comes set to blue, whereas on this one it comes default on and default on to red as well. So I think it's more fitting um, um, and matches the, uh, the color theme. So yeah, that's like, uh, that's what, uh, about 15, 1600 bucks of uh, GPU power right in front of you there. Um, and I'm not even using the damn things as much as I probably should, but uh, I will. And um, I will definitely be uh, water cooling this one and overclocking those uh, and posting those results. You'll also get the results of the performance of this, this card versus the Frontier Edition. This is the more powerful card of the two. Um, I believe that the drivers for the, uh, for the actual 64 are just more optimized for gaming, but I don't know. I mean, like all the specs and all the stats that I read online point to this being the more powerful card of the two. And if you wanted to kind of see some footage of um, like Deus Ex, um, man, um, um, what is it, the third Deus Ex game, um, I have that uploaded on the on the um, on the um, on my my channel as well. So, again, pretty impressive, very cool, very exciting stuff. Thanks again for checking out the video.